Hello and welcome back to my channel everyone. Hope you're all doing well. In this video I will be demonstrating how I did my very own press on encapsulated nail set. I first wash my hands and then begin by prepping my nails as you can see here by trimming them with a nail nipper or also known as a cuticle nipper. Then I begin by filing each nail, starting with the smallest finger. Now pushing back my cuticles in a safe circular motion. You never want to put too much pressure on this method because you could end up damaging your your nail matrix. Now I go in using the nippers to remove the nail cuticles. This should not be done as fast as the video is showing because you do want to prevent any damage to your cuticle area. It should be done with ease. Now I begin buffing my nails lightly to remove any natural nail moisture. Now I am brushing off any nail residue. Now my nails are fully prepped. We'll be using this nail magnet display with this extra plastic display as you can see here and we'll be using some full nail cover tips that I had ordered online. First I am securing fitting each nail tip to the correct nail size. Here I am filing the top tip of the nail, then the back to even it out. I want to make sure that it's straight enough. Making sure it fits since it was a little bit too wide on the sides, I decided to use these small pair of scissors to prevent some filing time. Now buffing the sharp edges, Here I will be using sticky tack material. A small amount of the sticky tack is used to place the nail tip to the magnetic nail display. Like a sticky piece of glue or like gum. Now right here you never want to use too much of the amount of it. You want to use just a little bit as you see here or else the sticky tack is not going to stick onto the nail display. This will keep the full nail tip in place. Okay, now I begin by creating my animal manicure set, which you will see. I begin painting the smallest nail tip, as you can see. Here is my longer magnetic nail display where I will be placing the nail tips to dry out. Now 
each nail tip should have two layers of polish, especially if regular polish is being used. When applying polish, the tip of the nail should be painted to cap the nail fully. That was my last nail. Now that most of the nail tips are fully dry, I begin to stamp them. The dried polish must be placed on the nail quickly so it can stamp correctly and stick onto the nail. As you can see here, there's a nice grip design. I prefer using the stamping polish technique because it leaves the designs looking very nice, clean, and crisp. That's just my personal preference. Now that my first and second set are done, I now fully apply the top coat gel over the nail tips and making sure all sides are covered.
curing for 30 seconds. Now with this nail brush, I'm removing some possible lint over my nails. Now I'm applying top coat gel over my sexy set, as I call it. My first set is called Animal. This is a mix of sexy girls and a sexy floral theme. Again, I cure for 30 seconds. And here is a view of my nails, or a very nice separate view of them. Here's my animal set. Now my sexy set. Here are some press-on adhesive nail stickers from which I think is the correct name for them. See, I also found these online somewhere. But I'll make sure to add the names of the products in the video description. Okay, now I'm brushing off. First I had to buff, then brush off the nail residue and apply the nail stickers. Removing any possible nail residue from the sticky tack material that I had on there prior to placing them on the magnetic nail displays. Making sure it's pressed on correctly. Okay. This nail adhesive sticker must be placed in the midsection of the nail. Let's see, we're going to try again. Place it onto the well prepped nail. Now removing this troublesome sticky tack. And this is another reason why that this sticky tack should only be applied in small portions because if you place it with bigger portions, it's gonna take more time and can become pretty frustrating. Now I'm filing the sides again. Buffing. Remember to air out any possible little air bubbles, if there are any. Make sure to rub it in nicely.
then here's my sexy animal full set manicure. But since I figured that these tips were a bit too thin, I wanted to add a little more durability to them by placing clear acrylic over them. Now, you don't have to use just acrylic for this method as well. You can also use gel or poly gel as well. Now I don't have to worry about my long nails feeling a little bit too thin and flimsy. I just didn't like the idea. And I also wanted to try this little experiment that I was always thinking about. And it turned out to be pretty successful. Let's see. You don't need to apply too much acrylic material over. All you just need to do is add a layer of the acrylic, you know, very similar to a encapsulated design. Because basically this is like encapsulation. The design's already cured and done, so why not add some acrylic to it? All right, now that all the acrylic is on the nails, I begin by firing them with a nail drill using a barrel drill bit to smoothen out the top of the nail. Now I am filing the sides of the nails to trim off any possible dried cure material that could be or could have been left behind. Again, I'm filing the nails to secure its smooth surface. You also gotta be careful with this method too because the the um, nail sticker that's in between the nail tips and the natural nail um, can cause the adhesive to just not work and for the nail tip to fall off. Okay, now I'm buffing the nails with a 220 by two 80 nail buffer. Now let's see, brush off all the, the powder from the acrylic. Now I'm removing the back. Oh, yeah. For some of the nails, I had to remove the nail sticker and remove any excess gel that was left behind from curing them. All right, I have to take this off. This uh, nail sticker was pretty hard to remove too. Okay, now I'm dusting off the nails again. Place them on the magnetic displays. Now with the cosmetic sponge, I had sprayed some rubbing alcohol over it and I used it to remove the excess dust. Now I'm using the top coat gel again to secure its design for the nails. That looks really pretty. See? Just assuring myself that um, the sides of the nails are 
good that everything looks okay. Curing again. And now my sexy animal press-on encapsulated nails are fully set. Now you can also use a nail glue if that is your personal preference. Now I'm just gonna show a little sample on how you should apply it. You should remove the nail moisture by buffing the nail and then going in there and applying enough nail glue over the nail and just stick on the nail like that. Well, that was it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more future content. And we'd just like to say, y'all take care now. Bye!